Hi there. Welcome to IEL Tutors. In this video, we will learn how to use function machines. This topic is equally good for Key Stage 2, Key Stage 3, and GCSC Foundation Maths. Let's start from question number one. It says, I double a number and get 24. What is the number? In terms of function machine, this is, there's an input, there's a box for input, and this is being multiplied by two, and we get, in the output, we get 24. So we have to actually think, what was the number in the input? To go backwards, we always do the inverse operation. So opposite of times in by two is dividing by two. So 24 divided by two will give me 12. So the number there should be 12. Question number two says, I have a number and get 24. What's the number? So number and then put is divided by two and we get 24. So we have to do the inverse operation again. 24 times two will give me 48. So this number must be 48. Let's try question number three. It says I double a number and add three to it. I get 63. What's the number? Right here, the input is multiplied by two and then three is added and then we get 63. What we can do is going backwards, we have to do take with three. Then again, instead of times in by two, using inverse operation, we have to divide by three, by eight by two. So say if we start with 63 and we take with three, we'll get 60. And if we divide that by two, we'll get 30. So the number in the input is 30. Question number four. I have a number and add five to it, I get 30. What's the number? So a number has been halved and then five is added and we get 30. Going backwards, we have to do, we have to take by five and we have to times by two. So 30 take by five gives me 25 and 25 times by two gives me 50. So the number must be 50. Question number five, I double a number and divide by five and take away two, I get eight. What's the number? Right, the first thing which we have done is doubling and then we have divided by five. Then we have taken away two and we get eight. Doing the inverse operation, we have to do plus two and then times by five and then divide by two. Right, so if we start with eight, eight plus two will give me 10 and 10, times by five will give me 50, and 50 divided by two will give me 25. Question number six, work out the missing numbers in the function machines given below. Part A, five times by four add six. Five times by four is 20, 20 at six is 26. Then so my output will be 26. Part B, four times by three, which is 12, 12 plus five is, 17, 17 times the four is 68. Part C, 15 times two, take the 10 times the two gives me the output. So 15 times two will be 30, 30 take the 10 is 20, 20 times the two will give me 40. Part B, here the output is given, input, we have to find the input. Slightly more challenging, but not, not much. Going backwards, we have to do the inverse operation. Inverse of times by two will be divided by two. Inverse operation of plus. Take by six will be plus six. And inverse operation of times by three will be divided by three. All right, so first of all, 36 times divided by two will give me 18. And 18 plus six will give me 24. 24 divided by three will give me eight. Part E. Input times by five, add five, times by three gives me 90. Again, output is given. We have to do the inverse operation. Inverse operation times by three will be divided by three. So add five will be take by five. Or times by five will be divided by, by five. So 90 divided by three will give me 30. And 30 take by five will give me 25. 25 divided by 5 will give me 5. 7, 4 times by a number, add 2 gives me 42. This is an equation basically, but we can still use function machines knowledge here. 
last thing which has been done is add two so we can do 40 to take the two which is giving 40 and then in of inverse operation of time the four is divided by four so that's why answer will be 10. question number eight a number times by two take away four gives me 18 again inverse operation of times uh, take away four will be add four so 18 add four will give me 22 and inverse operation of time by two will be divided by two so that will give me 11. Question number 10. Here we can see a function machine which we multiply by 4 and then add 7. So if the input is 4, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 add 7 will be 23. If the input is minus 2, minus 2 times by 4 will give me minus 8. And what's minus 8 and plus 7? That will give me minus 1. Third part. Here, the output is given. We have to do the inverse operation. So if we are going backwards, we have to do inverse operation of plus seven, which is take the seven and inverse of times before. Inverse of times before will be divided by four. Right, so if the, if the output is 31, take the seven will give me 24. 24 divided by four will give me six. Question 11. Here, the function machine is divide by nine and take by five. If the input is 54, 54 divided by nine will give me six, and six take by five will give me one. If the input is negative 36, divide by nine will give me negative four, negative four take by five will give me negative nine. Third part, here the output is given. If whenever the output is given, we have to do the inverse operation in the function machine. Inverse operation of take by five is plus five and inverse operation of divide by nine is times by nine. Right, so if we start with four in the output, we have to add five because inverse operation of take by five is add five which gives me nine, and then nine times nine will give me 81. Question number 12. Here the function machine is times by four and take by 12. Minus five times by four will give me minus 20. Minus 20 take the minus 12 will give me minus 32. And if the output is three, uh, sorry, <laughs> And if the output is zero, we have to do the inverse operation, which is plus 12. And inverse operation of times by four will be divided by four. So zero add 12 will give me 12. And 12 divided by four will give me three. For the next part, it says there's the same number in the input and the output. Right, for this one, we have to use trial and error. The moment we have seen if the input is three, output is zero. Can we can we try? Let's try that if, like if two works there or not. If we try two, two times the four gives me eight, eight take the 12 will give me minus four. No, so which means we should be thinking of a number bigger than three. If we try four, so for example, if I try four, four times four gives me 16, 16 take the 12 gives me four. So Yes, luckily, here, who is the number? If the input is four, even output will be four. I hope you liked this video and found it beneficial. Thanks for watching. See you soon with my next video.